So, hello and welcome to the next episode of the Self-Development with Tactics podcast. And as I'm seeing right here, the light is a little bit bad today, but it's a nice effect. Uh, nevertheless, or anyways, um, my name is Chris. I'm a 17-year-old graphic design student from Austria. And I'm really into self-development and, you know, seeing more in life than uh, what I'm having right now. It's not like I'm grateful, but I know there is more. And as you might uh, see in the background, uh, if you are watching the video, if you're listening to the podcast, uh, we will di discuss um, last episode's um, topic, uh, which is... Um, Emotional Intelligence and 10 Ways to Improve Your Self-Awareness by the ThriveGoal.com uh, website. It's an article from the 3rd of May uh, from 2018. But um, we will head to the point we um, stopped yesterday, which is look for your emotions in the media. And as I was reading this, um, this uh, headline, I didn't really know what is meant or what was meant. And therefore I'm reading. I have always been fas fascinated by a video on YouTube from Will Smith. Apologies from the bad quality, but here it is. Running and reading, he says. The key to life is running and reading. Uh, there have been billions and billions of people and there is not a problem that has not, not yet been solved. The same goes about emotions. There is a good deal of emotions out there, but they are the same for each and every one of us. You often feel unique and that nobody understands you, but that is simply not true. Um, that's right. There are... How much are there? Uh, eight, eight billion people on this world, and on the earth. And there is... Um, for sure, at least one person that has the same problems as you have. And so, um, as I know by now what the headline means, you should go uh, in the social media networks and, you know, and network with actual people and um, or search on Google and see if there are any solutions for your problem. You know, this, this has to be your first step to, to improve yourself um, or to solve your problem. At my point of view, I always just search, and the best way is to search in English, whatever uh, language you are normally speaking. But for example, when you search something in German, you get maybe 10% of what you get when you're searching it in English. And so that's um, something I always do. But let's move on. The same goes about emotions. There is a good deal of emotions out there, and I've read it already. Look for your emotions in movies, books, songs, or poetry. When a movie moves you, this says something about you. If you take a closer look at the situation and the actions of the characters, you might learn something about you. When you feel like a song has been made for your, for you, that's also, that also carries information. Look, look the lyrics up and see what, is, what it is all about. This will help you find the words to express, express your emotions. Um, that's for sure, even though I don't really know if you should really look um, on films or on movies, um, because often these are just made up stories. Um, so if you do this, I was just thinking about uh, biographies or autobiographies. Um, maybe you look at them and see what it gives you, um, what kind of value, if it is uh, any value. Um, you know, you will never know if you do not try it. No. <laughs> Just wanted to say a quotation, a quote, a quotation, a quote. Um, but maybe a little bit later. So the eighth one, revisit your values and act accordingly. <clears throat> and what they want to say is that you should always remind yourself on your qualities and what you're good at and um, also what you're bad at. Um, but I'll read it. Your life is dynamic. Your job is hard. Your family is demanding. You try to set aside time to learn, to have fun and to keep your mind and spirit in peace. Replying to emails, having phone calls, commenting on the social media. 
playing with the kids, doing sports with the friends, watching TV. Just half of the of that activities would be enough to fill your day. It is also cause it also causes you to focus on the outside, not on the inside and on yourself. If you feel overwhelmed, stop and review your values. Does your career go into the direc the direction you want you want to? Um, the first point is um, I think in general very important because you always have to think about uh, what is your next step and you shouldn't get really sucked up in what you're doing unless you really know it's um, good for you or um, you know it leads you to uh, the place you want to be in the future um, but it's a really good point um, it's always good to to think about your life and um, you know yourself and so on and so on um, the second one does your job require you to do things which you are not you are not comfortable um, I just read it uh, in a negative and in a positive way in a negative way if um, you just have to do things you're not willing to do um, and on the other on the other side um, going out of your comfort zone is good because you you know so you you do something and you're used to doing something you might not always want and so you are more willing to do things for example when it's late because you're used to doing things um, that you don't want at that time or you know I hope you get what I mean but I think for example um, you know, some people have to have sex because they need the money. And I think um, that they mean something like this. Yeah. Do your colleagues uh, do your colleagues treat you the way you would like to be treated? Um, that's a good point. And I would say you should always treat the people um, the way you uh, want to be treated. And so I, th I think in my point of view and in terms and also in terms of the law of attraction, which basically means what you give is what you get. Um, so, as I said, um, if you're friendly and if you're just the way to the people, um, you want the people to be to you, um, it should be kind of automatical. Um, because, for example, um, the chance is much higher if you love someone um, to be loved back than, you know, if you're just not doing anything about it. If there's a person you really like, I think the chance is pretty high or much higher if you tell them than um, if you do nothing because then the chance is zero actually. And if you ask them or if you talk to them and if you just tell them, um, there is a chance. It may be 50-50, uh, maybe a little bit more, a little bit less, depends on the situation, I guess. A nice rhyme there. <laughs> do you have enough time for your family um, it's also important you shouldn't really and uh, I struggle a little bit with it and uh, that you should always have time for friends and family uh, especially if they need you and you know you shouldn't um, really uh, you know just be in your capsula and in your room and everybody like yeah, fuck you, I don't care about you, I'm not just about my stuff. I think that's um, not the best you could do, at my point of view. But nevertheless, um, does your current path lead to where you want to be in two years? Which is basically the first one. And yeah, that's always very important to ask yourself. These are just a few qu sample questions that you could use to reevaluate your life against your values and beliefs. Values is what you believe in. Trust, re responsi responsibility, sustainability. Mission is how you want to change the world. I want to make low-cost pens available to the poorest people. Goal is what you're aiming at. In three years, I want to be VP of sales. Um, and I'll read that again because um, this is pretty. And for the watchers, I'm here because I think you can't really see my... Um, pointer, my cursor, sorry. Um, values is what you believe in. Mission is how you want to change the world. 
and goal is what you're aiming at. Get it? Okay, fine. And it's also good to take notes all the time because I tend to forget a lot of things and, um, you know, being in motion, um, you know, uh, like writing, writing is also motion. Um, it seems, study says, or say, that, um, you know, there's a connection between, or uh, a memory connection, a memorial connection between uh, emotion and something you just, you know, uh, you just learn and you, you know, you remember it a lot better if you do something or if you have emotion, you know, in this system, some kind of. Uh, anyways, check yourself, especially under stress. Self-awareness is mostly internal process, but there are external implications of your internal situation. Get into the habit of exam examining these regularly in order to make sure that everything, everything, everything is okay. And this is a point I really forgot about, but um, as I was reading through the lines, just quickly to, to be sure that there's some kind of value in it, um, I just thought, yeah, that's, that's kind of true, that's actually really important. And the first one, how does your face look like? Do you shave your face regularly? Do your eyes look swollen? Have you done makeup this morning? And what you wear or what you're wearing? Do you have clean clothes on? Um, do they have wrinkles? Um, how does your desk look like? Is everything tidy? Is everything in a big pile of mess? What is your posture? Do you walk with, the, with your face down? Or do you walk with long steps? And I would say also straight up. Um, um, basically, I would also include that, you know, there are different types of person and so some person just give a fuck about the clothes because it's a um, waste of time for the most, at my point of view. There are actually somebody or some people that are making money out of wearing clothes because they're influencers and they show off their clothes and, you know, make pics out of them or with them. And... Um, so I wouldn't just panic if you, you know, if they say, yeah, if your uh, room isn't tidied or your desk isn't tidied, um, you're just really broken, you should do something about your life. I wouldn't say that because, uh, you know, if you're just a person that's not as, you know, clean as some other persons, I'm not, actually. I really, you know, put everything anywhere and just I don't get I don't don't give a fuck about it, but um, you know, just faster. Um, yeah, be aware of be aware of your normal self and be an, be on alert for the times when you feel stressed. Notice how everything changes. If you are aware of those changes, it might be easier for you to detect the stress factors in the future before they reach your conscious mind. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. And let's check the time. 30 minutes, we are good to go. Um, fill the blind spot with feedback. And last but not least, remember the windows of knowledge. There is an intimate, intimidate, intimate, in, intimate, intimate, <laughs> part of you that nobody knows. Um, and there is the shared part with uh, which is public, but there is always a spot that you do not see. This spot is called the blind spot. Your own view of yourself can never be impartial, but the others may see what you truly are. Uh, do not be afraid to look outside for help. Get your partner to a comfortable location, ask him or her for feedback. Gather your friends and talk to them. Ask, e ask even your parents when all know that most parents are too eager to be bestow us with their feedback anyway. Observe the rules of communication. If you ask for feedback, you should be listening more than talking. Open your heart and be truthful. Do not get defensive. The people closest to you only want to help. Um, the last paragraph is very important. So this one, do not get defensive. Um, I often experience it myself that, um, you know, when you ask for feedback, you um, often kind of 
expect something good and um, if they say something bad or I expected something good and they said something bad and I directly um, was like oh no they are wrong they are just not seeing me like I see myself and then you really have to think about it you just um, have to take their opinion and think of it if you're a person that genuinely doesn't give a fuck about what um, others think about you um, that's good that's really good uh, especially strangers um, everybody should give a fuck about strangers but at my point of view there's something about um, really close people um, and not in terms of business if they are not in your business because they uh, shouldn't talk about it or they do not have a clue most of the time um, I would say um, but about you and if they feel like you are just really under stress and you um, seem really unco uncomfortable or you you know you seem different than normally um, it's good to listen to them and um, just ask yourself if it's true what they're saying or um, if there's anything about it you know it's just you know it's for me maybe I will change my mind everything is impossible everything is impossible <laughs> everything is possible and the quick summary one of the foundations of successful life is emotional intelligence and one of the foundations of emotional intelligence is self-awareness emotional intelligence teaches you about your emotions and the emotions of the people around you and self-awareness specializes in teaching you how to spot your emotions your causes them um, your causes them and your reaction to them um, with time and persistence you could even learn to control them and use them to serve your mind and its purpose um, which can be done by meditate meditate meditation meditation and by meditating yes by meditation and I've seen and I've already told it but um, it's kind of interesting I think I hope I make it short. Um, I learned not to be as impatient as I was to be through meditating. I meditate 10 minutes a day. If I'm not too, um, you know, I do, I do it every day, but not for 10 minutes. If I'm really stressed out or I'm just really willing to, to sleep and I would kind of fall asleep during meditation, I just, you know, don't do it because there's no, um, there's no sense behind it. It doesn't make any sense doing it if it doesn't have any effect or you are not uh, concentrated enough um, most people go through their lives without paying attention to their emotions either completely completely ignoring them or letting them control their lives emotions are a powerful force that can do miracles with your life or completely ruin them it is the job of your mind to learn to spot them and put itself between the emotion and the physical reaction by learning that skill you would finally be able to get the Reins of your life in your own hands. And this uh, was the end of this article. And I see what time it is. And I spotted there a word which, you know, brought a picture up. There was something, the blind spot. The blind spot. And I hope you can see this if I'm just... Uh, the blind... But the blind spot, which seems um, psychology. I hope uh, there should be a diagram or just a graphic. Yes, the Yohari window, um, and there you can see uh, there on this. On the left part of it is you should um, check it out if you are listening, uh, you know the podcast. Um, there is what you know about yourself, and this is what uh, you don't know about yourself. Um, this is what um, others know about you, and this is what others do not know about you. And um, what you what you don't know and what others don't know is completely unknown. What um, 
uh, you don't know but others know is your blind spot and what new you know and uh, what others know is your uh, arena they call it or I would say your um, you know your publicity uh, the way you're in public and what um, others know and what only you know is some kind of your secret and there was um, the best thing is to I don't remember sadly enough you just you, you know you can push it around and it uh, depends on the situation on the person you are um, how much space each of these sectors um, take up but anyways uh, I'll leave you there and I'm really thank you, thankful for you to listen to me and I hope I'll see you the next time or I hear you the next time and if there's anything you can always comment or text me on uh, Twitter, on uh, Instagram and on Facebook and yes and also on YouTube but I've said that already I guess nevertheless anyways whatever see you later <laughs>